So good morning everyone, I am Dr. Abhishek Kuching. I am the consultant ophthalmologist and corneal transplant surgeon working here in Apollo Hospitals, Navi Mumbai. And today we are going to talk about cataract and cataract surgery. As you all might be aware that cataract surgery is one of the most commonly performed eye surgeries all over the world. However, during our interactions with patients and with their relatives, I have noticed that patients or their relatives do not really understand what cataract actually is. <clears throat> and even patients who have undergone the surgery are not very sure actually what surgery was performed and why it was performed. To understand, so today we will be briefly talking about uh, what cataract is, what we do in cataract surgery and also uh, what are the things which we are following during for cataract surgery during the COVID-19 uh, crisis currently. So to understand what a cataract is, uh, first you have to uh, imagine the eye to be like a video camera and like any camera, uh, the eye also has a lens but the lens inside the eye is of course not formed or not made up of glass or plastic, it is made up of proteins and these proteins are all collected and uh, compiled in a bag like structure which we call the capsule. Now, the proteins in their natural form are having a specific property that they are transparent. Of course, they have to be transparent because they should be allowing light to pass through them into the eye. Now, there are various reasons due to which the transparency of this protein is lost and the most common reasons being just old age because the proteins do not uh, are not able to keep up, keep up their transparency for a long period of time or it can happen due to an injury to the eye or any particular eye diseases. It can also occur due to some medicines that you might be taking. It can also occur due to other systemic conditions like diabetes which can accelerate the formation of cataract. So gradually these proteins uh, will lose their transparency and they will become opaque. So opaque means they will not allow any light to pass inside the eye. And because of that, the patient progressively starts losing vision gradually. And after a certain point of time, they stop seeing things completely if we allow the cataract to progress to that certain level. So obviously, uh, we need to do something about it. And what we do is a cataract surgery. <clears throat> so a cataract surgery basically means that we are removing the transparent proteins as the I'm sorry, the opaque proteins from the um, eye so that we make a way clear for the light to pass inside. Now remember that these proteins were part of the lens and since we are removing the proteins, we are also effectively removing the lens of the eye. And if you remove the lens of a video camera, of course, you are not going to see a picture. Similarly, if you remove the lens from the eye, you are not going to get a very clear picture and hence, we need to replace the lens. And this is what we do by putting in an artificial lens, which is made up of different materials, the most common being acrylic. So cataract surgery, basically uh, in the cataract surgery, what we do is we make very small incisions inside the eye, uh, on the eye and we go inside. And I remember I told you that the, all these proteins uh, were in a bag like structure. So we make a small window in the bag and we remove all the opaque proteins from the bag so that the bag now becomes uh, clear and it will allow light to pass. But now what we need to do is to put a new lens or a, what we call an intraocular lens inside the bag which we do. And once we put this, we come out of the eye and then we uh, close all the openings that we had made for the uh, in the eye and at the end of the procedure and the next day onwards, the patient can see better because all the opacity which was blocking the light from going inside the eye is removed and a nice crystal clear sharp lens has been put inside the patient's eye. So this is briefly what cataract surgery is and there are various ways to do cataract surgery. The older, in the older uh, times, uh, the incisions or the cuts on the eye had to be much larger because we had to uh, pull out the protein in bulk out of the eye or the lens which has become cataractous from the eye had to be removed completely. But nowadays with advancements of technology, what we can do is we can make very small cuts inside the eye and then go in with small tubes. These tubes can actually liquefy the proteins within the eye itself 
and then there are suction tubes which can pull out or suck out the proteins from inside the eye thus uh, not thus we don't require to make any large incisions and very small with very small incisions can we can also do a cataract surgery uh, an added advantage we have got with these sort of surgeries is because we have now uh, lenses which we call as foldable lenses these lenses can be folded into very small uh, uh, very small folds and hence they can be put inside the eye from a very very small cut and these cuts are uh, almost 2 millimeters in size so they are really very small cuts and uh, the, then the lens goes inside the eye and it opens up it unfolds itself and it sits in its uh, normal natural place where it should be sitting and it gives you uh, good vision so this is basically cataract surgery the newest technique which i just described is known as phaco emulsification which is almost uh, performed everywhere nowadays uh, as a standard procedure uh, however, uh, with the with the new Corona crisis, uh, there has been a fear about uh, cataract surgery or undergoing cataract surgery. Whether it is safe to undergo, are we uh, are, are we uh, at a risk of getting exposed to Corona uh, virus, or is are we going to uh, contract coronavirus infection just because of the cataract surgery itself? So let me assure you that cataract surgery, uh, as a routine, is usually performed. Uh, under topical anesthesia that means we either put uh, just some drops in your eye to make your eyes numb or they are uh, performed under uh, local anesthesia that is a small injection is given near the eye. Uh, there is no uh, general anesthesia procedure that is required that is the patient is not uh, made unconscious and the patient has the, we do not have to put tubes in the patient's uh, uh, breathing apparatus etc. So the risk of developing a coronavirus infection is generally very low the surgery itself does not generate any uh, any aerosols or any body fluids which can uh, you know spread from the air to your uh, to you and that is why again cataract surgery is uh, very safe in that regards thirdly what we are doing in apollo hospital now is that we are doing a very detailed evaluation of every patient who wishes to undergo cataract surgery or any form of surgery for that matter and the patient undergoes a detailed uh, systemic checkup and an examination for possible or probable coronavirus infection and only when they are found to be having no coronavirus infection they are planned for a surgery. So in a surgical environment or in the operation theatre all the staff members all the other patients who are coming in for a cataract surgery are also completely screened and devoid of uh, devoid of uh, coronavirus infection so we have ensured that we make the whole surgical experience of cataract surgery or any other surgery in apollo hospital a very uh, safe procedure so uh, this was briefly about uh, the cataract surgery and cataract cataract itself and cataract surgery procedures being followed in apollo hospital and i hope uh, that uh, this has helped in understanding the disease process and the process of surgery itself and uh, this will help you make informed decisions for yourself and your relatives. Thank you so much.